Okay, testing one, two, three. I'm recording once again. It's uh, 1 F1.8. Auto ISO, but I don't know what it's on. Okay, so I'm letting the camera figure that out. Me, I like to see whatever the ISO is. But uh, we'll let the camera figure it out. I don't have it on 4K fine. I have it on the next one. So this is an oversampled. It's at night time now. And this is where I've had the best results on the uh, R7. I've uploaded the uh, Z30. Took it out one time. Ran it for 30 minutes. No problem. Go use the R7, and uh, after 20 minutes, the uh, bars start showing for overheating. So you figure that. There may be no time limit, but I get overheating. It is 86 degrees outside. Well, it was in the garage. Let me drive around a little bit and see what happens. Okay, so it looks real dark outside. Okay, on this camera, I got it at f1.8. So I'm wondering if the ISO should be on automatic. Okay, you see that? So, I'm going to hit auto. Hundred twenty-five. Just going to keep going up. See, I'm at one thousand twelve eight hundred. That's the highest I can go, and that's something. Now, if I do the shutter speed, okay, enter. Now, if I use the shutter speed, all right, watch this. 1 400, 1 250, 1 160, 1 30, okay. So, let's hit the 12800 again. Oh, gotta do that, okay. All right, what happened? There we go, okay. 12800. Do auto, okay? Enter. Oh, no. Auto. All right. One, one forty. Fifty. So I'm going up. Yeah, so it gets dark. So let me do it. One sixty. Now let's go to one twenty-five. That's the way um, Peter wanted. So F1.8, 125. It looks much better. Time. Almost nine o'clock. Should be in bed.
So I was impressed with the Z30. Had in manual. Everything worked out great. I mean, it was unreal. CVE 10, it's just too hard. They need more dials, okay? Like they do on the Nikon. I like the size of the ZB-10, but, you know, uh, you got to do the dials with the ISO, then you got to do the, the shutter speed. But you put it on movie mode, so that, that's the thing. You want to put it in manual, and then on the Nikon, and even on uh, this one, you can put it in the movie mode. I think that's what helps. So the lights look good. The picture quality looks good. I don't see any juddering. I got it on the less 4K. The reason why I have it like this is to see if uh, it helps on the overheating. So after 20 minutes, that's what I get. So if this turns out good, because I got it on a different tripod, and the tripod I was using was just too shaky, and I, the ones I was trying to stabilize, well, it didn't help. Now I did put a little towel down on the A7C, and that helped quite a bit, but then it fell off. See, that's why I don't like doing that. I want the best stability that I can. Now, even if I turn it around, having it look at me for vlogging, I'd rather show and talk about what I'm seeing while I'm driving. So, what may seem to some people is like, he's watching TV while he's driving. Well, in a way, I am. <laughs> okay. Get on the right hand side. I could. That stuff. No, oh, that's water. That is water, folks. Okay, I just spray on my brights. I'm gonna make it a little bit cooler in here, or less cool. Put it on number two. Everything looks good. I don't see any jelly effect. So I guess the fine 4K is good if you have it set up in the studio. All right. But still, the overheating comes on. That's the oversampled uh, 4K. If you just have it on the basic 4K, I got it at 30p or 29.97 and I got the IPB light. I think that's the compressed uh, video. So I see everything is pretty good. brights on that's why I gotta turn it off
don't want to go through the deer neighborhood again. Especially in the dark. one now. I'm freezing in here. It's 82 degrees outside so the temperature is falling. Maybe it'll get into the 70s. I'm hoping anyway. I'm going to go straight. is doing pretty good. Right now I'm waiting to see how long it goes before the overheat comes on. I got about 52% uh, battery left but that's okay. I don't think it's going to take that long. See, I got the video doing good now, okay? It's doing great on the RC. I'm happy with that. It's the overheating part that bugs the hell out of me. This guy has his brights on for some reason. So he wants to make a Yui, that's why. Everything looks good, doesn't it? So I wouldn't mind uh, keeping this lens on for the studio. Okay, I'm going around the circle. Trying to see if I can light up. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Not going in the neighborhood, I'm just driving around. I've only been driving for about five minutes. I've been taking this route mainly all day. But now I'm learning how to do the cameras at night and during the day and stuff. Reducing the uh, jelly effect. Yeah, it was, main thing I think was the tripod and the vibration from the car. And then uh, the Ibis was uh, overcompensating. Oh, by the way, I got it on enhanced, by the way. So, it's working like it's supposed to. Back in the other right lane. I'm going to go past the gas station, go on the 1604 loop. I think I 
could see someone on a bicycle in front of me. So I'll get in the left lane. Either that or they're working, walking. Yeah, they're walking. testing now is the video is doing good. I think I got the best settings. Someone hit a skunk. Or a skunk. Squirted someone. So what I'm looking at see how well this tripod is doing and it's doing great right where I have it situated so I don't need that other tripod in my car which makes me happy Shutter speed, I learned about aperture, I learned about ISO, I learned about stabilization. Different cameras do different things. dark on this road right here but that's okay I'm just going around the loop but I'm gonna go straight make it a little bit longer I'm waiting for the uh, overheating part again in the right lane it looks like I've been driving for 10 minutes Usually it comes on after 20 minutes, but that's if it's in fine mode. So I think the 4K is just fine. Yeah, the guy thinks I'm watching TV. <laughs> I think he realized he has a camera. It's down 81 degrees. So it's getting cooler, which is a good thing. Gas is now $3.19. Oh my, I may have to come back and get some gas. So I got my lens hood for the 85 millimeter today. I should be getting some lens hood for, I don't think the 35, but I think I'll get it for the 50 and the, um, 
24 millimeter, or no, I'm sorry, the 16. So 16, 50, and then the uh, 100 to 400. You know what? I didn't get one for the uh, kit lens. I was thinking about that. So what I do is I usually get the lens hood, then I go and get the either the UV filters or the polarizers, whatever. And that comes later. I just want to try out the lens, see if they work. So you see what I'm seeing, it looks good on the LCD. I don't see any wavy stuff. I see small vibration. But as I'm moving, I don't see any jittering either. Now I can have it at slower speeds on the Z30 and they compensate the ISO automatically. So, that's why I think the Z, I had no problems with the Z30. I was happy with it. It has no time limit. Much happier with that than the um, CV10. Okay, what's going on? Truck. Probably. Yeah, they might be doing some road construction. I don't know. I see some cement stuff. You could be taking a nap. You could be waiting for, okay, come on up. See, that's the only thing about working uh, construction and driving the truck. You're waiting all the time. bars yet. I'm looking for like a, a battery light and stuff. I've done what about uh, hours worth and I only lost like a third of a battery before so I think I can at least get a good hour. the tripod make sure it doesn't slide forward put on the brakes see I had three dollars and what 19 cents at that gas station so I might take a Yui. Might turn right here. Yeah, so. Yeah, there's a lot of traffic here because of the apartments. But I'm gonna get some gas. I didn't look over here. See how much the gas was. truckers see how QT is on gas here 321 that one was 319 right 321 is not that bad either. And I might 
might just fill up here. They're usually full on the, bit, on, uh, the gas. Cents extra. I'll deal with that. And again, I'll go to the other gas station. Because I gotta test out this camera. Gotta make it work. It's flying colors. So, on stills, I can put like the 4K fine battery saving option and stuff. No problem. On video, I have to do it at a lower setting. It's just like the R5, all right? You can only do like 8K, I mean, Yes, they got a firmware update on a 4K HQ, I believe. bumpy yep 319 or 320 actually save me one penny a gallon like a third of a battery. I can see the battery now on this. Looking good. No overheating. It's been recording for 29 minutes, 30 seconds, just about. So what I'll do is I'll upload this video. All right. There we go. gas is three dollars and twenty cents okay yep 319 okay I'll be right back
that was lower than expected, folks. Now I got two bars left on the battery. Still doing good. No overheating. I just turn on the air conditioner just for a little bit. I don't really need it. I can do the outside air. I think I'll do that. Okay. Turn off the air conditioner, just do the outside air. About 84. I think I did it with uh, just a fan just to see if uh, there's any shaking. But uh, what I'm looking at now, the R7 is doing good. So on video, I would recommend this. Forget the 4K fine. It's kind of like uh, with the R5. You only do 8K for a little bit, 8K30 or even the 4K HQ. Yes, they removed the uh, warning limit for overheating and stuff, but, you know, I'll wait for the firmware update for this. So, so far, this has been doing it for 38 minutes, no overheating. So, what I'm hearing like from a YouTuber Josh Thetton or uh, even from uh, Simon, the ordinary filmmaker. You put it on the less 4K. 4K 60 will overheat it. But if you put it on a 4K 30 or less, no problem. But I like there's not a really, a, there's no crop. But you can put it on a crop if you wanted to. Okay, so this is the best this camera has done yet. So I hit a home run with the Z30. like I'm hitting a triple with the R7. Of course, it's turning into a home run also because I see no jelly effect. No bars for overheating. Everything's looking great. Outstanding. Yeah, one thing I noticed on the Nikon, it was just taking my voice. So you couldn't hear the air conditioning, couldn't hear the fan, or the car noise. That's why it hit a home run. The other two cameras recorded all the car noise, especially this R7. But now I just hear this, the light hum of my car engine, since we're at idle at a stoplight. It's 9.30 at night. I'll upload this video and 
So what I do is uh, I take this video, I run it through Ecamm, and it compresses it more. So I got it on the lowest compression, but it will compress this more, and I'll send it to YouTube. Now I've tried the high definition, it's okay. I don't know if there's an oversampling with the high definition. You know, at 1080p. So I have no air conditioning on, the fan is not on. Everything's at uh, 1 one twenty fifth uh, shutter speed, f1.8. So Sunday night, I guess they don't work on the highway. They used to work seven days a week, but construction people okay So, for $1,500, I recommend the R7. If you can't afford the kit lens, then uh, just get the camera for $1,500. For uh, $1,900, $400 more, you get the kit lens. So you're not really saving any money on that. No overheating, folks. See, what I can't understand is I put in aperture priority in different modes, and this camera works great at manual. So it's auto ISO. I don't know what the ISO is, but it just stays there. So maybe it's easy for uh, the home user. I just turn on the air conditioner because it's getting boom. I think that was that skunk that was hit, unfortunately. Yep, it was. It's unfortunate wildlife. <sighs> I live in a city that keeps growing with more and more people. Okay. Very good. I'm impressed. No overheating bars. Just the battery. And then, uh, let's see, I got 46. See, I don't know if it's 46 minutes of recording because of the battery or storage. 
I have no idea. Who would think the battery? I got a pre I got two SD cards of 128 gigabytes, so with the IBP uh, compressed or light. Excellent. Excellent. So, do you see a jello effect? Yeah, I see a little bit. Just a little bit, okay? Turn off the air conditioner. Turn off the light. Turn off the engine. It looks good, folks. And I'll leave it there as a wrap. So, if you like this video, please give me a like. Please subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And uh, any comments, just leave them down below. As always, stay safe, keep smiling. Until next time, goodbye.